Welcome to the Deota Resource Library and thanks for watching how Deota can help you enable rapid data ingestion, processing, and provisioning of your data with multiple platform data architectures. Unlike other ETL tools, Deota was built for the modern data architectures where data can be processed natively in the most optimized fashion. Deota also scales in all dimensions with its agent-based architecture and optimizes the data movement across several data points in a seamless and efficient manner. This makes Deota Hadoop ready, Spark ready, and Cloud ready. This video will familiarize you with the fundamentals of how Deota provides highly optimized in-database processing for ELT workloads. Deota supports various ELT processing platforms, be it massively parallel processing data warehouses such as Teradata, Exadata, Hadoop-based such as Hive, in-memory computing such as Spark, and cloud-based MPP platforms such as Redshift, Snowflake, and Google BigQuery. In this demonstration, we will review key features and concepts of how Deota supports ELT using push-down optimization, set-based instructions, attribute variations, and extract and load mechanisms. Deota was designed based on five principles of modern data integration in order to adapt to the complexity of multi-platform data environments. Deota takes the processing to where the data lives with its agent-based architecture and eliminates traditional ETL server bottlenecks by loading the data into the selected processing engine to manipulate data and perform transformations. To further create an optimal balance of processing and workload, Deota takes full advantage of the processing power of underlying platforms such as Hadoop, MPP, and NoSQL. Deota has a unique pushdown mechanism and ability to call out native functions locally, process them within powerful platforms, and distribute the workload in the most efficient way possible. Let's begin and review key features of data processing in Deota. The methodology for transformations remains constant, whether it's Teradata, Hive, Splice Machine, Redshift, Snowflake, or Spark. Deota Studio offers the user a rich set of transformations to perform different functions. The different types of set-based instructions can be expression, joiner, rollup, filter, temp stage, splitter, then group, and data subflow. We can effectively use different transformations for various types of data manipulation, and the SQL code is produced internally for transformation. For example, we can use a joiner to combine data from multiple tables based on the common relationship between one or more attributes. Rollup can be used to perform calculations such as average and sum on the selected attributes through grouping. Windowing or analytical functions can be used to calculate the average, max, min, median, and sum for set-based transformations. We can also enable persist data to store data in intermediate table. The intermediate data generated during processing of complex queries is automatically managed using the transform database of native processing platforms. Spark works slightly different when compared to other ELT platforms. RDDs in Spark process data in parallel with distributed in-memory computing compared to strong data as external and internal tables in an intermediate store. Next, Let's look into derived attributes, expressions, and user-defined functions that can be added during pushdown. Deota allows creating derived attributes at any intermediate stage for any of the transformations in the design pipeline. The attribute amount sum is a derived attribute. Let's add another derived attribute. We can specify the details for the attribute to be derived. The expression editor window is used to create a condition for the same. The native function library for each platform is exposed. To define the condition for the derived attribute, we can either select the parameters, database-supported functions, sequences, or expressions which are all predefined or specify the value that is needed. Parameters can either be data flow parameters, SQL parameters, or system parameters. Data flow parameters can be defined for the transformations at the data flow level. These can hold either the system-generated parameter, expressions, and user-defined values. Additionally, these can be used for derived attributes. The sequence parameter can be predefined or specific databases using the sequence generator. These can be assigned to derived attributes to create unique values for primary keys. 
To define a sequence parameter for big data platforms, user-defined functions are used. Let's specify the class name, syntax, and UDF jar file name. UDFs can also be defined to create custom functions. Next, let's take a look at expressions. Expressions are reusable functions which are defined for native platforms and can be used in transformations for derived attributes. For example, we can create an expression to concatenate first name and last name. We will review the SQL parameter in the later part of the tutorial. Diota provides the flexibility to define load properties while finalizing the target table for loading. Diota offers many load features, like creating partition keys, using various loading mechanisms such as insert, update, upsert, delete, and SCD. We can also create a target, truncate before load, and specify the pre-SQL and post-SQL queries to be run. Extract properties are defined to pull data from the source in the required format. The extract type depends on the selected database. For most of the ELT platforms, Diota provides the option of JDBC or the Native Database Utility. Native Utility leads to faster execution. While performing transformations on different native platforms, the processing remains consistent in Diota. The only factor that changes is when the native extract and load utility that is used to perform the extract and load operations. In order to further enhance transformations, we can use SQL parameters, reusable data subflow, and reusable components. SQL parameters override the data flow parameters through a job flow. The key value pair of SQL parameter is used to override the parameters in the data flow. For example, here in this data flow on Hadoop, we can override the parameter customer account status using the SQL parameter in job flow. In Diota, we can leverage many reusable components across entire integration projects such as data points, data objects, parameters, and SQL parameters. Data subflow is a reusable data flow which consists of a combination of required transforms which we may need frequently while creating data flows. We can also define shared projects for reusability across the organization. This is a unique feature of Diota that makes it enterprise ready. These objects are typically stored in a global folder and can be reused in a local project. To reuse an object within a local project, we can export, import the data point or use it directly from the global project. This concludes our short tutorial on the concept of ELT using Diota. Thanks for watching. Visit support.diota.com for additional knowledge base articles and tutorials.